Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Hanks with the Center for Autism Services and Transition here at the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center. The following is an educational video for medical professionals who provide care to patients with autism to help you learn strategies that can be used during a blood draw. I would also encourage you to have your patients view the companion video on blood draw and discuss specific strategies that will work for them prior to the appointment. Please visit our website for tip sheets and for more information. A few things to consider during a blood draw appointment for patients with autism. Offer the option for patients to use numbing cream or other assistive items that may help them successfully complete the blood draw process. As a healthcare professional, it is important to remember that when you are working with patients with autism, to strive to begin and end the appointment on a positive note. If possible, practice steps involved in the procedure. Practice putting on the tourniquet and taking it off. With each practice, try to leave the tourniquet on a few seconds longer. This can help the patient desensitize to the material and feel of the tourniquet. Explain to the patient that you are going to use your finger to locate a vein, and this is where the needle will go in. Explain that once you find the vein, the tourniquet comes off and there will be no stick yet. This is a great time to let the patient know they can take a small break. As you prepare to draw the blood, describe the gloves, needles, and other supplies you will be using. This will help to familiarize the patient with these items. Offer the patient a fidget or stress ball to squeeze during this time. Tell the patient they can look away, listen to music, or watch something on their phone or tablet. Remember, if the patient shows signs of anxiety or is verbally protesting, take a break. If you do not complete the blood draw during this attempt, make an appointment to try again. Before you begin the draw, have the patient give you the thumbs up that they are ready. Ideas that may help during this time are to count or use a visual timer, distract the patient with a video or music, have the patient hold the hand of a parent or support team member, and in general, remind everyone to breathe and that this will only last for a short time. Support holds for stabilizing the arm can also be effective when appropriate. A good tip is to practice the support hold before the procedure. If you miss the vein and need to retry, please check with the patient to see if they are willing. A short break before the second attempt may be helpful. Never rush the process. Always strive for a successful visit and end on a positive note. For more blood draw tips, please visit our website.